Hi everyone, welcome back with me. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe this channel. Stocks the appeal climb a red hike seem to stay the course. By Peter Scorroder, U.S. stocks slip Wednesday, ending the strongest today really since 20 and 20, while the dollar and treasure yield rose on the back of second the U.S. economy remained hot and Federal Reserve officials were result in red hikes, second of softening softening in the labor market in earlier the week gave way to new data showing the jobs market remains hot blustered ongoing hawkish talk from fed official and dwindled hopes for a pivot from a steady stream of red hikes to fight inflation well trade shrank shrank its steep steepest loss on the day but still and lower the dow jones the dow jones industrial average fell 0.14 percent the s and p 500 lost 0.20 percent and the nasdaq composite dropped 0.25 percent the m s CI World Equity Index, which tracks share in 45 nations, was lost down 0.12%. U.S. Treasury yield and dollar regained loss grown from the last two days in turn. The yield on benchmark 10-year Treasuries was up 14 basis points to 3 thousand seven hundred and forty nine the forty nine percent twenty one and twenty six the dollar index which track the greenback versus basket of six currencies was up one point oh three percent to one hundred and eleven hopes that the economy may be slowing enough to get central bank Official to step back from large hikes to below Wednesday on several fronts. The Bank of New Zealand stuck with a sizable right hike. The ADP National Employment Report showed private employment rising by more than estimated in September, and the Institute for supply management reported the service sector sharing less than expected in September and employment ticket up. That all combined to suggest the economy was not yet slowing enough in response to red hikes for central bank to rethink, rethink their approach. Atlanta Fed President Rep. Kyle Bostick said the Fed's fight against inflation is likely still in early days, despite glimmers of hope, hope in recent data. The stock and bond really of the low last few days was driven by weaker economic and labor market data. Today, stocks and bonds are both selling off after a more hawkish Police decision from New Zealand and stronger economic data from the U.S. said Jeb Jacob Manokian, U.S. head of investment strategy at J.P. Morgan Private Bank. Uh, it's hard to read too much in today today price moves when markets are things skits. But the board driver of markets for the rest of the third quarter will probably be the trajectory of policy rates. On Friday, the U.S. Labor Department will report mon monthly job numbers, which will further flesh out the state of the labor market for investors and policymakers. 
Okay, maybe that's all from me. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe this channel. Bye.